a howdy y'all Unky T here uh, now this is part one of this presentation by Mr. Christopher James uh, it's very powerful information and it is information that every man and woman in the world should know uh, now this fella here he's he's from Canada and he's talking about Canada stuff but it's universal it, it applies to America or England or Australia or whatever or all Europe it's all the same now, any free world this all applies there's just some little subtle variations and differences in the uh, paperwork and stuff but the premise and the the, the idea is all the same so I, I highly recommend you all watch this all the way through just like this entire series that I'm going to be putting out for you I, I copied this off his gentleman's site with his permission and he wants to spread all over the world and I do too and I think once you give this a chance and you keep your mind open and you you uh, you view what the, the information in this here I think you're gonna feel the same way and you're gonna be a little bit angry about what's happened to you but you have to have your mind clear you have to have your mind open and you have to be willing to think outside of what you've been brainwashed into thinking all along in your entire life because it doesn't mean you're stupid it certainly does not what it means is you've been fooled and you've been tricked by the greatest minds that of evil that have walked this earth and I think y'all will find out that being angry is good doing something's even better so anyways with that said I'm gonna let this gentleman speak for himself and I hope y'all really learn something let it be known that I and every man in this world have a duty as all of us do to stand in truth to stand in honor to stand with courage but most importantly to stand with love in your heart be a light unto this world I claim that every man and woman is born free we are not slaves subjects or legal persons every man and woman is equal under the law law that comes from our Creator which is recognized as supreme do no wrong or harm trespass that is the law of this land only by way of consent or contract binds a man or a woman remember these core foundational truths fact all governments are created to protect the property of man period governments are there to serve we the people our trust has been misplaced we have placed our trust for far too long in a system in which we believe is based on law it is not for it is based on our ignorance and not being shown these foundational truths and the first is known as the unlawful conversion here we see a statement of live birth a record this is actually a copy of the record when I was born in hospital it's actually two documents in one but let's focus on the foundational facts what you see inside this border here is the record the form which my mother and father filled out with the honorable hospital staff at that time they provided my name which is my property it was given to me it is a gift and is recorded down on this ledger now what happens after this my mother and father were not told nor did they consent to any other documentation being created that would somehow enslave or compromise the very rights of their child that they just brought into this world and this is what has been hidden from man for a very long time they did this to you to your friends to your family to your mother and your father and this act continues to this day in every hospital around this world once these forms are complete the Register General then receives these and what they do is they send shortly after a month maybe two months later to your home your parents receive in the mail a birth certificate but what is the birth certificate this would be a good time to press pause go and get your birth certificate and any other identification that's been given to you by the government or your bank or credit card etc Hopefully you're able to acquire the documentation, so let us continue. 
Up until this point, it has been very, very difficult for people to explain what is going on. Because when if you're hearing this for the first time, people look at this and think, this is crazy. And that is why we need to start at the very beginning with the documentation. The documentation is only one aspect of what is going on here. The simplest way to understand it for my fellow man is, is did you create this birth certificate? No, it's not yours. Remember that. Secondly, it has nothing to do with you. For example, if Tim Hortons or McDonald's or say Burger King, they acquired your information when you were born, and then they in turn went and created an ID with your name on it, plopped it in the mail and sent it to you. What would you do? You'd probably laugh, wouldn't you? That's right, because you know that that document has nothing to do with you. Nothing. It's trespass. This is evidence of identity theft when we are first born. It's time people worldwide wake up and act. So Ontario, they're bringing out a brand new round of birth certificates. Here you see the man's first and middle name, Jeffrey William. The last name I've covered over, but notice the comma that's between the first and last name. We don't write our names like that, and there's a reason why. What is all this stuff that's been blacked out at the very bottom? Well, this is the ultimate corruption that we're going to discuss shortly. But first I want you to look at all your identification you have. You're going to see your names in all capital letters. You're also going to notice that your name is in a different configuration on each piece of ID. There's a dot J, then there's a space J, then it might be Christopher James. Why is it capitalized? Why are they in different configuration? When something is capitalized, it's to take advantage of, to use to one's own advantage. In Black's Law Dictionary, Capitus Diminutio means the diminishing of a status through the use of capitalizations in Roman law. This is the loss or curtailment of a man's status. That's what happens when it's capitalized. And that's what's required in order to create a legal person. Here you see your John William Doe in the center. That's your given family name, trade name when you're born. And the service corporations go and create all these other identities unbeknownst to you, as shown on the ID. But let's return back to the birth certificate. My original birth certificate was laminated. When I flipped it over, on the back, it was blank. So I reapplied several years later for another birth certificate. And lo and behold, when you flip it over, you see that there's a red number there. That's a CUSIP number. So you might ask, what's a CUSIP number, Chris? Well, you're not going to like the answer. CUSIP stands for Committee on Uniform Securities Identification Procedures. A CUSIP number identifies most financial instruments, including stocks of all, you ready, registered U.S. and Canadian companies. What's that doing on my supposed birth certificate? And it's owned by the American Bankers Association, the system. I believe you're in West Maryland. Karen, is that you, West Maryland? That's right. It just said you are unmuted, so I think I'm in, right? Can everybody hear me? Yeah, you got gotcha. you. Yeah. What happened was in 1933, um, this country was declared in bankruptcy, and that's when you got all these uh, states being incorporated, and that's when you got um, babies when they were given Social Security numbers and their birth certificates. You see the names are put in capital letters. That's when we lost our courts. Our courts became maritime courts, and what, what the Federal Reserve uh, banksters were doing was they were making an estimate of how many uh, much tax payments over their lifetime those babies were going to be paying. And they estimated for each person it was going to be like six or seven hundred thousand dollars. And they issued bonds. And if you look at your birth certificate and you turn it over, you'll see that there's um, a number on there. There's a CUSIP number. That's, you know, they would be issuing bonds for your baby, for the, the future earnings. And when you go into a court, it's no longer a regular court, and you're not given your rights. You're treated as if you were a, a vessel, as if you were a ship under maritime law. I couldn't believe it when I heard about this. I thought, that's, you know, that's impossible. I read it about three or four times, and, you know, from different people, and finally I realized, yeah, this is, this is what's what. And when you pay your tax dollars, you're mailing your check to a separate place. That's to the Federal Reserve System, and they're taking your money, and they're sending it right off to London. And in the UK, they're keeping 40%, and then they're taking 60%, and they're sending that off to the Vatican's bankers. 
Karen Hudes, World Bank lawyer, over 20 years. So you have a decision, you have a choice. And we need to wake up and recognize this truth of this diagram before you. This is a hierarchy of creation. You can either act like ye are all gods, or you can act like the creation of your servants, the legal person, the fiction, and live your life under their rule. It's up to you. Ooh, well, there you go, my friends. I hope you all stuck it out till the end and you learned a little bit of something in the basics of what's going on in this world. Now, I, I know it's kind of hard to swallow at first and uh, you have some doubts in your mind. There shouldn't be. You have to trust and understand that this is real. This is fact. All right. Now, You'll learn more as you go on in this series, and, and I, I can't stress enough that you don't feel stupid. You know, I kind of felt stupid at first when I first found out about this stuff, saying, oh, how can this be? It's a, but don't be, because you know what? It's, it's been worked on since well before you were born and well before your parents were probably born. So I just want you all to, to know that we all need to be in this together. We all got to love each other. We got to take care of each other. And we all got to make sure we're all safe and, and have our own God-given rights back to us. Now, I've gone on long enough. Y'all get the idea. I think, y'all, if you stuck it out to this point, you understand what's going on. So, just please subscribe and make sure you ring that bell to make sure that you get the next videos that come out in this series. Because it's important that like, we just touch the surface right now. We have a lot more to go through, and it's basic and it's easy, and y'all will learn it very quickly. So, having said that, have a blessed day. Take care of yourself. You take care of each other, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.